Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War of the Chosen playthrough. I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty and uh, today it's Operation Twisted Sky. Not only has the Warlock just decided to attack Australia, now the Assassin will do the exact same. So this is really a tough call for the local um, defenders as we're continuously being or recklessly being attacked but that's also a chance to get some much needed ability points so the space wolves will return once again to battle let's go good we're being deployed Ooh, on high ground Resistance emphasis on recruiting in this region has led to Advent's reprisal operation. Resistance team uh, has done a recruiting mission and has been discovered by Advent. We must escort them to the evac point and escape with Firebrand, flying fast and low with limited fuel, so extract the rebels first. They will, uh, so she, meaning uh, the Firebrand, uh, will return to pick up the troops after an extraction. Failure to rescue at least one resistance member will prevent us from conducting recruitment missions. And that is what we get for uh, setting up a recruitment in a highly contested area. Well, well, well. The good news is we couldn't have asked for more On your order. in terms of high ground and not being discovered. Got it covered. Benjamin Wilson, I'll just try to see, yep. Everything looks uh, Gucci for us. Heading out. Roger that. Rebels are beginning to move in first. Getting it done. One, two, three, four, I'm five. All and Beth is number six. Location as long as we're staying away from the edges, we should be somewhat fine. Of course, snipers in that particular case are the worst potential yeah, choice for for operatives, but it That's is what it is. Make some moving in. Gosh, what a poor choice of um, characters for this mission. <clears throat> really shouldn't have gone with uh, two snipers. Null ward. Uh, let's try that. Good, everybody just got more defense. Love it. Heading to that location. We've got the chosen in our sights. It's time to take them out. Well, that's not the chosen, that's just a reinforcement patrol. <coughs> That, on the other hand, is the chosen. Oh. The warlock again? And I am your punishment. There's another patrol here. We just picked up a unique signature. Hmm. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. Do you not see that the Elders have a greater vision than your simple minds can conjure? Well, I can see that this high ground here is really advantageous for us. That's what I can see. Moving out. Because we can double move and this might be the easiest escape in a long, long time. Let's see what it can do. 
makes a tr uh, charging in as well. I don't see a huge need of doing anything but double move for now, because we haven't triggered. Snipers are amongst the slowest of our members, so <coughs> I'm a bit more concerned about them reaching the target. Wow, okay, well, we do have a lot of enemies to deal with now. They don't know that we're up here. Well, now they know. Hmm, unfortunate. Even more unfortunate. I guess the warlock won't let us get off easily. Hmm. So what I would say is, since you almost can flee, <coughs> How about we're moving you guys to here? Got it. That way you can definitely evac next turn. Already there. Get it done. As long as you're not staying at the edge, you should be fine. Getting go. very close. Okay. Might need one movement protocol. Not sure if we could force the warlock not to move. <coughs> that would be funny if we could. So I would say uh, this calls for an overdrive. <coughs> We're still trying to move further forward. I was off by two percentage points. Let's check if we can force the warlock not to move anymore. Such audacity. Good. There is the greatest champion of the warlock somewhere. <coughs> not here yet, but somewhere. We're moving up. Or to target the warlock. <coughs> Excuse me, my uh, uh, throat is really sore. Make this down. And we're shredding him. Never mind. Mame does nothing for him. Good. There might be a lot of enemies coming up here.
ricevuto. Proceeding to target. Berlin, we don't want to leave anyone behind Subita, who has tried the name thing. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. I'm trusting you here. He's catching up with everybody else. Overwatch and we're good. As long as his greatest champion is still alive, we cannot do much. They got me. This is bad. Your soldiers cannot last forever, Commander. Good, we're getting ready to flee next turn. In the meantime, let's get that guy down. Just a little bit closer. <coughs> Unfortunately, our sniper is within his zone of control. So game time would take damage, but luckily we do have mind merge for exactly that situation. Hit chance. Sure thing. Tired of waiting around. We're targeting him again. going to use more holo target even the smallest misstep could be costly at this stage commander all right cyclic fire That's one two He has full cover from that one section there. Might want to change that as well. I do have an idea. Okay, I'll go. Bring in the pain. Should have done that beforehand, <coughs> but okay, never mind. We'll at least get a couple more shots now. Yeah. Was that meant 
Good, time to overdrive and time to hit him. Unfortunately he would be moving back so going into a flanking position really doesn't change much. But he continues to be in half cover and we continue to hit him very very well. Fantastic. Takes a lot of damage, but he's still not completely down. Too many hit points. Good resistance operatives should go on evac now. Interesting choice. damage <clears throat> could have been much worse you will make a fitting sacrifice for the elders. first of all I don't want overwatch here Unfortunately, a part of evacuating as well, or triggering more enemies. <coughs> Getting out of here. Will do. We'll just evict all of these guys. Four more turns is what we need to survive. And let's start doing that by dealing with uh, this guy there. be able to flank him there also we can take a couple of shots from below we could also just get the mech back up What's over there? move over because I know they will be coming up here Shot. I like it. On my way. Missed the target. Only the best. You will be a reckoning for all of your offenses against the elders, Commander. Okay, time to 
get the trolls down. That'll be a kill, likely. I'm just thinking out loud. These two we can't kill, but they might come and get... I think it's just a smarter choice overall to stay up here. They can come up here and here. That's their only way up. And typically they will just stay here, therefore blocking for their friends. <coughs> to do is hold out until we can evac so we could actually move to here and then in one go leave the area Good. Does that end the turn? No, I don't think so. I have an even better idea. How about we try to drive him insane, therefore he continues to block. <coughs> okay, didn't work. Don't want to kill him yet. We can definitely shoot from here and keep that position. Sniper moves to there and then we can finally get everybody in an null ward.
Taking the high ground. Fabulous hit. I like what I'm seeing. Say that gets an eight protocol. We're all watching here. Let's continue hitting the priest. Nope. Fortunate. Flash bang. <laughs> no way. Well, luckily, we had the shield. how he knew that we were up there and that he could hit everybody with a grenade but okay see that's why I wanted to kill the priest so bad Oh wow, more advents, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to kill Zolness. Too good to not do it. Focusing on the priest.
Killing the archer. Let's get that sergeant down. He's flanking us in a not very kind way. Can we get all three? Come on. Oh, we can. Yep, there we go. That burning will force him into sustenance. And here's the kill zone. Just a nice little clean up. I have located advent units. There you go. Hmm. Ah, come on. All right, very valuable kill zone. That worked exactly as I was hoping it would work. Well. How do we want to go about that? It's killing time. I think we might just go down and try to bait a shot from the mech and uh, kind of take it from there. I hope it's worth it. We do have enough armor to, to take it. Okay, could kill the mech. Hmm. Let's start over here. So that's a kill. Still does not help us with the mag. No. Come on, I need a hit. Okay. want to nah, that's not reliable we'll move over here I need you to hit those chain shots come on
That's why I wanted him to be marked first. They won't last long. Good, mutant is taken out. We might be able to insanity pull this guy up there. Still doesn't help us with the archer. But at least we have control. This guy. Okay. Good to go. Move over. I think Dreadnought could use a little bit of defense. Moving to designated positions. Enemies are coming in. More enemies than expected. I'm just trying to get out of here, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a great explosion. Oh, yeah. Slight damage, but I think we're okay. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Good. Next turn, we're going to go out. that yet. That's indeed tough armor. Listen, I don't I don't want to stay anywhere near something that explodes. First we need to solve that problem. This here should be far enough away. Not take damage, right? I'm right. You here. Wrong. Good, which means we okay, might as well just go up. out next turn. We're doing a little bit of a cheeky maneuver here. Uh, I'm going. So that sets us ablaze. And we're going to grab and heal. Good. Now
Barely can't reach the exit. I think this here is too good to pass. burning? No, he's not. Good. Target prioritization. This guy here could die. <laughs> That's a 100% kill. Too bad for leaving the stupid archer well and alive yet again. could we move? Uh, that's not far enough. Move, move, move. We're immune to explosions, so might as well use that to our advantage. Make ourselves a good target. We can take a shot. On my way. I'm being greedy, grabbing some loot. This here might explode, that's the problem. Moving. Not a good place to stand, but... Unfortunately, there aren't really a lot of good places for us. Fantastic. begins to heal herself. This mech isn't going anywhere. I feel light on my feet. On the move. Yeah, too bad. I knew that Frodo would take damage, but if I would have let her in the open, couldn't uh, couldn't uh, know that the uh, mech was about to retreat. Okay. I'm on fire here! Yeah, 
Frodo will take 30 days in the Met Bay. I can already see that. I'm compelled to agree. Yeah, even the mech agrees. makes a lot of difference as she has taken so much damage but at least we had the chance uh, couldn't get any permanent stats here right no just short-term buffs look at the end of the day we did not lose anyone all we did was uh, lose a little bit of time. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah. For the mech, not a big problem. They are being repaired really fast. But I think for Frodo, that'll be a timeout. It's like with ice hockey. Uh, mm, when she would have uh, completely beaten up an opponent penalty box for 30 days 22 yeah all right wait wait wait, wait. Uh, sharpshooter game time and sharpshooter rock i knew you're not going to bond like that's double sharpshooter madness Mac gets a promotion. I like the Overwatch. You may take two reaction shots. Although repair isn't bad either. And I wonder if we're dual macking, if uh, we really would want to take repair on one of them. You know what? Yes. Staying alive is always better than uh, than being uh, risky to prove a point good cool yeah they can have a bond but that's really not going to happen now so I need to continue to scan for healing because boy oh boy we're taking one uh, heavily injured per mission but the, the mission that we also fought was incredibly hard again we want to set back the aliens work on the avatar project. western we uh europe facility well fantastic possible. domination oh yeah thank you Good, yeah. yeah. I would love to give him Jammer. Oh no, it's a Taxia, of course not. A Taxia means our Imperial Fist uh, squad is back in action. Fantastic. These guys can get levels. We have additional soldiers, just double checking. Yeah, we got a Lance Corporal here, so yeah, sure. And might as well already put the the um, rookie that is almost done with his training in there. Good. Overall, let's check our sick bay. It's looking better. Soon the wounded will be fine. Clearly, Frodo will be missed, um, but well, it's not too bad. Good, so we're having intel here. We're recruiting here, we're re-recruiting. We have intel here. My siblings have lost sight of their purpose, for they are easily swayed by 
We want to liberate this area. I'm wondering, this here is strength one. We might already start prepping it, right? So how about nine is almost as good as 10. So two continue to recruit just to fill it up and we're putting seven onto Intel. That's plenty to get missions. I want to continue doing missions. And Shattered Realm finally returns this time as a specialist. There you go. Looking fly as ever. Get the right colors on. And do we have a personal combat sim? Iron skin is good. Hacking plus nine is even better. So we're at 55, uh, 54. That's not too bad. Blood Angels are fully ready. So we're going to start deploying them now. I waited for that moment a long time. Assault this facility. Australia. Let me do that real quick. Okay, we're done. So I will go in with eight because uh, if we take more, uh, the time just goes completely crazy. So that we're immediately going to 15 days. That's not happening. Nine days and we're actually going to boost it so we're down to six days so it's going to be an eight, uh, eight person run. I equipped all of them to the best of our current abilities. Could have maybe gotten an armor in here or there but I rather would like to keep our supplies. Now uh, this year will be boosted thank you so six days until we can actually do something very good oh boy i will it will be a happy day when uh, we're finally liberating this area equally eight strength from advent will push over to here and to here spiking the regions from one respectively four strength um, it seems like Advent is pulling all of the resources through Chile and then pushing it over. So this region will be an 8 strength region. Joyful times. In the meantime we're getting more missions over here and preparing to get the continent bonus. Inside knowledge is good. All of the weapon modifications would be even stronger with that. Good, our job is to heal fast. And down here, we're getting new recruits. Even better. Iron skin ability, reduction against melee attacks. Uh, that's tough, but understandable. Melee is very strong. We got, very soon, we got the network tower here. I am wondering though if, oh no, a network tower we can do immediately, but uh, the actual uh, mm, facility we might want to wait a little bit because this here is still strength one so we could farm this for uh, for quite a few missions matter of fact let's put a scientist haven advisor there and yeah, we need the infirmary definitely, training here definitely as well. So yeah, we're good scientist-wise. Keep on healing and look at that, Bastion. Very good ability by the way.
face walk um, we could use in order to get the cover removal which is also a nice uh, thing but the way that I'm currently um, playing uh, the psyops, uh, psyops is really first of all control based and the face walk can come a little bit later although teleportation generally is an absolute banger of an ability Good. Both of them will take some time, which is good because we don't have any uh, any of the other psyops queued up for for additional training afterwards. We need missions, but they are not popping up at the moment. What's the baseline here? We might as well do that if we need to. But like I said, we do have a plethora of extra uh, soldiers at the moment. And finally, incendiary grenades. Uh, that's good. That's good. That'll make grenadiers much better. Good, new Chile. Continue to recruit here, thank you. And to be fair, all we need now is Shadow Chamber and Defense Matrix, and we have neither yet. So we're just excavating, and once we uh, get enough um, engineers, we can help with um, the liberated regions to create more supplies. Good, network tower here. Um, 21 enemies, might as well just continue. Mm, although, we want to liberate this quicker. And the Grey Knights are capable of taking on 20 enemies. This region here doesn't need an immediate liberation. This here is a different story. I would like to get an early liberation going. Um, how many squads do we, uh, how many chapters do we currently have idle? I don't like that. Well, maybe it's, maybe I'm over dramatizing it because we, the space wolves have taken quite a beating and they lick their wounds at the moment. And the Imperial Fists would be ready and the Salamanders. So that's really just two squads at the moment ready. Coil guns are coming in soon. That is helpful. Hmm. I tell you what, I think we're going to do the Network Tower in the next mission simply because then uh, we can immediately follow up with um, the HQ assault. I wonder I wonder if a lower level team could do the HQ assault potentially not. I think we need the higher uh, higher level guys for the HQ assault. Mm. So maybe these plus, well, we could do Grey Knights and Grey Knights and then just use the Grey Knights in order to liberate this area. Wouldn't be the worst thing. I can speed it up as well, but on the other hand, it's still eight and not 10 people. So we would need to leave some behind because elsewise it just takes too long. Hmm. Yeah, from my from my perspective, the Grey Knights could do it, so might as well do the Network Tower, then use the Grey Knights. These here, that's a that's a swap that just needs um, a healer, maybe another sharpshooter, uh, psyker, and a dreadnought. So, aka Mech, 
um, and then that would be a good uh, team that could infiltrate. Yeah, let, let's do that. We're going to get some intel as part of it, um, uh, as part of it anyways. And that intel can then be um, invested into getting into the next um, uh, uh, region by ba uh, by basically um, getting the HQ infiltration faster. Then uh, once this is liberated, we do have two contacts that we could uh, take from here. Three actually. This one here would be super cheap. It would go down to 66 um, because we do a, uh, we would get a free tower here. That would um, open up a lot. We could go to Eastern Europe. Almost we know Western Europe and Western Africa do have um, Advent facilities. So and this here is the Black Side facility on uh, on top of it. So might as well branch out to here, here, and here, right? And uh, that would give us a good grip on the majority uh, of the continent. And then we potentially we need to upgrade resistance communications. You know what? Might as well bite the bullet now. Because we already had a drone here. Which means we can't expand our facilities further. Um, we're okay supply-wise, and that will allow us to have a lot of uh, contacts. We might even get a scanning for an extra uh, for extra power. Uh, so that's fine. I think we're I think we're okay. This brings us to the end of today's episode, guys. It was a lovely run. Thanks for watching. And what do we want uh, before we go? Ender Sanders. I wanted either a Grenadier or another Ranger. I'll decide I want another Grenadier. And that's the end of today's episode. I need to take care of something else. Take care, guys, and have a good one.